yeah, before we close out though, I want to I wanted to touch on something very briefly. Um I've been doing a lot of reading lately. And I discovered um that some people believe we have um I don't want to say brains, um control systems, I, w- I would say, control systems in the body. And the main three, or or say the only three, or or are the uh, the heart, uh, the actual brain, and the gut, the stomach. And I was like, wow, you know, the stomach, the gut, then the intuition. And if your stomach is off, if the gut is off, if your if your intestines are off, anything is going on, your digestive system is off. Man, that can really mess up your, your day and your life. Uh, and a corrupt mind can do the same. A corrupt heart. So I think those are the three things we really got to focus on. Uh, of course, we want to focus on the seven chakras, of course. But I think the three most important things is the mind, the heart, and the gut. I, I really do. I think we would uh, relieve a lot of dis-ease, disease, mm-hmm. if we, we focused on, on not only the seven chakras, but in particular, those three components. Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? I love it. Uh, I did research on that years ago, and I studied the Hebrew. I, I um, Hebrew is the original language. In fact, I just watched a documentary uh, yesterday that was talking about when they came here to America, they found all the people here, the indigenous peoples, their main language was Hebrew. Mm. This is what they were talking. Now this, I, I'll share this documentary because it is incredible. Wow. Anyway, wow. Um, it, it's talking about the history and, and even how Kansas has a spot that was known, it was the most sacred spot in the entire world and what has happened to it. Uh, Anyway, I'll send it to you. But anyway, so you go into the original Hebrew or the, the, the Bible that we have today, and it says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Again, that was one of my favorite things as a child, because I, I just, you know, I've, <laughs> I've always been super curious. I wanted to know, what does God look like? What, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I always would read that and think, hmm. hmm okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really a good child because so, I really want to see. <laughs> right, right. But when I started reading Hebrew and studying, I found that what it said is blessed are the pure in stomach. The word heart in Hebrew said stomach. Right. And when you started delving into it, the stomach is the seat of the soul. That's where your soul enters into your body. Yeah. in your mother's womb through the umbilical cord the navel yeah the, some people the, say navel yeah right the gut brain connection is huge yes. now you can say your mind comes first no it doesn't i don't believe that at all your mind can be all screwed up but if you actually start correcting the gut bacteria yes. make you some water kefir i mean I, I have water kefir on my counter <laughs> even that's alone that's so simple to make you can buy water kefir grains online and just you just add, put sugar water in there and it literally cultures it. Even things like that. You can see anybody when you start to balance that gut, their whole personality changes. I oh, mean, wow. the whole personality. Oh, yes. You yes. can have a cranky, crabby, angry person and they become somebody you don't even know. Right. Correct. Because there's there's twice as many brain neurons or neurons in the gut as there are on the brain, at least twice. It's, it may yes. be greater than that. I think it's greater, yeah. Yeah, it, it's greater. And there's a few, in, there's some in the heart as well, but they still ping back to the gut, which yeah. makes sense because that's your soul, solar plexus, the soul. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We. I find it interesting. Yeah, we, we have to understand that these three components help help protect us but also help us push forward yes in, in life you know uh, so i mentioned a situation where uh i was gonna well i did come in partnership with in a club with these ladies 
and I won't get, go on into it. But the only thing that protected me was my gut. Because my heart wanted to do this. I had been wanting to do this for years. Mm-hmm. And my mind, I wanted it so badly, right? But although my mind was telling me to watch, watch. But then my gut was saying watch. And then my gut was saying, there's something off. There's something yeah. off. Yeah. It was in my gut. And mm-hmm. I was correct. Like, a lot of times, that's off or blocked in people. Their gut, their intuition. Mm-hmm. And um, we we got to get that open, guys and, and ladies. Yeah. We got to get that heart working right. We got to get that mind working right. But also that gut. And I think the gut comes first of the three. I, to I be think honest. so. I think so. I mean, when I healed myself of the diseases I had, I had cancer at 24 and then a massive heart attack at 28. Oh. I had to st- I had to start with the gut. And I'm telling you, it was a long, long journey. But you have to start with the gut. And it, and, and it I mean, you, you can go into a lot of different things. And they talk about the gut and where, you know, death begins in that area. That's where death begins. And, and the death translates to the mind and the heart and everything else. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, one one thing that is very helps helps you rectify very quick is fasting. And there's one type of fast that that I for myself have found that is incredible. It's it's way more effective than the typical type of fasting. And that's uh what they call a 24-hour hard dry fast. Mm. You don't eat or drink at all. You don't you try not to let water touch your body any more than possible, maybe wash your hands and stuff, but you your body actually goes into a mode where for the male it increases the human growth hormone two thousand percent increase in 24 hours for the female it's like 1500 percent increase in 24 hours it is incredible literally what happens is your body goes into this phase where if you're not putting any water in there during a fast your body will go after any damaged or dying cells or or cells that have you know messed up when they were um, breaking off right. and it will they will literally go after those cells they will burst the cell wall take the water out of the cell wall to hydrate itself and then eat the cell wall for protein wow so if you get into if you get it that's literally the fountain of youth guys i mean literally how I reverse my cellular age from, you know, 80, 80 years old down to 24 in a number of years is that because what happens is the body is literally reversing your age every time you do that. And you can do a 24 hour fast every couple of weeks, or you can do it once a week if you want or, or less, whatever. Right. But it's important to do it, especially after you hit 40, because you know, our bodies are exposed to so many chemicals and things like that. And so the cells are always mutating and it's the mutated cells that turn into disease or cancer or things like that. So it's really important to give your body the chance to destruct those cells. And when it removes those cells, then it creates healthy new cells. And I'm telling you, I am telling you that 24 hour hard dry fast, your third eye will literally be buzzing. I mean, I mean, you, you get downloads, you get, (laughs) it's like crazy. That's what I noticed the most is the spiritual. It's like even, even colors that you look around, even colors start taking on a little different. uh, The spectrum is different. It's, it's amazing. And you feel for me, I get so much energy on that kind of a fast. Now, if I try to do a water fast where I'm putting water in, Mm -hmm. it's not the same at all. And it's way harder because you're putting something in your stomach and then your stomach feels the weight of it. And it's going, Oh, I need food. Right. Whereas right. if you're doing a hard dry fast, you didn't put anything in there. So your body's just fine. It's not even, I don't know. Right. I can do that and not get thirsty or hungry at all. But if wow. I take even any water, then it's like triggering the thirst and the hunger and all that. So yeah. I got to try that. I've yeah. never, I've never heard of that. I got, well, maybe yeah. I have. I got to try it though. I've never done it. Yeah, there's. A, I'll, I'll try to send you a, a link. There's a, a doctor, Dr. Mindy Perez, on YouTube that actually goes breaks it down in detail what happens in your body in 24 hours when you're doing a hard dry fast. 
She has a, a Facebook page, I think, that's called uh, the Resetters Group. Hmm. And she they're actually, you know, doing this to reset the whole body. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah. Wow. You'll be amazed. Good. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Yeah, this was this was good. This was interesting. Uh, yeah, this was interesting. I think we got to really focus on these chakras. I think that's the key. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had. I mean, you know, had, really the whole body health, you know, mind, body, and spirit. It's just mm -hmm. like there's just, you know, we we've been fed so many lies on so many levels, you know, that we have to untangle. Yeah, yeah, you know, <clears throat> mentioning lies. This this is something that I've thought about too. I wondered about. You know, I was raised in the church. I don't, I don't know. I've always been in the church, right? Until I, yeah. uh, until I don't know. I was born in the church, and you know, <laughs> until I was there like three times a a week, most times. Right. Uh, me too. Me too. All, yeah. Uh -huh. All all summer. Yeah. But um, until I went to the military, you know, I I stopped going, and then uh, you know, I just I just got away, and then I would go back periodically. But once I started studying the last 10 years, it's really doing my own studying and branching out, it really opening my mind to different things. And, and sometimes I wonder, were these pastors lying to us intentionally or did they just not know? But then I look at some pastors that have high profiles that I, I think are very intelligent. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this guy has to know. He has to know. I I, I just don't, you know, so I, I wonder about that. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've seen uh, the last Immortal Minds video about uh, Don't Let Your Light Be Damned, where he was really going in and talking about the religions, mm. talking about, but that made me sit back and think, too. I was thinking about that this week about, you know, my brother's one of those. <laughs> oh, those. wow. Um, but well, my I, brother's a preacher, too. My brother's a pastor, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I, don't think my, I don't think my brother, I don't think my brother really knows when I really, uh, I don't think he does. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You, don't, so you, don't, you don't want him to know. Well, don't you don't, know. yeah, you don't, you don't want to think he knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just kind of depends on the speed that people wake up. I believe, you know, there are, there are people that are still in a lot of darkness that just don't, but I see people waking up left and right. So I'm hoping that he's waking up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And, and the reason, the reason I think uh, some of these guys know or women to uh, know is because <clears throat> we all uh, evolve and what we thought mm -hmm. was something wasn't something, right? That's, right? that's with all of us. I've never heard a pastor say, uh, congregation, people, I know I preached this. I know I taught this 10 years ago, five mm. years ago, 30 mm -hmm. years ago, but I have a different understanding now. Mm, yeah, you're right. So you're this right. is this is where I'm at now. This is what came to me in my consciousness or subconsciousness mm. now. But I thought I was right 10 years ago, but now I have a different understanding. I've never yeah. heard of so <laughs> what is that? That's true. Is it ego? What do we have to protect here? Exactly. I mean, I'll be the first one to say, oh, yeah, you know, two years ago, I thought this and this, but um, I, I learned otherwise. And I'm, you know, that's not the way it is anymore. You know, right. I can't say that anymore. Right. Right. So wow. it's like, OK, so it's either ego, <laughs> which is wrong, or you are intentionally misleading. Or, right. or Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I see where I see your point. Because everybody wow. everybody has different revelations and different understandings over the years. Exactly. I don't yeah. care who you are. Right. I like the, the the way 
I raised my first child is totally different than I raised my last child. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. Oh because, my goodness. Yeah, because I have a different understanding. Right. About, yeah. And my, my, oh, my, my, my ex wife my ex wife even called me soft. So you you've gotten soft. It's not it's not that I gotten soft. I'm a different parent. I'm not right. I'm not I'm not twenty one. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm thirty. I'm thir- at the time. I'm thirty something. Right. So I'm, I hadn't gotten soft. I have a different understanding. Mm-hmm. And so the way I parented at twenty one, I've grown. There's nothing right. wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> but but I don't hear pastors doing that. And so mm-hmm. this is why I think it's intentional. Yeah, you know, that's a real interesting thought. Because they would have to go through the process of thinking, okay, I've seen this, but what are they going to think if I say this, right? Right. But I think it was, if it is ego and not intentional, I think it would be so powerful for them to do so, so someone to do something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a great, that's a great teaching moment. You're right. Wow. That man would be so powerful. If I was in a congregation to hear a pastor say that, I mean, I'm like, I'd be like, wow, wow. that'd make me feel so comfortable you and know? so confident right. about about growing and, and, and just elevating and admitting to uh-huh. myself or my kids or my wife. I know I said this, I taught this, but that's, <laughs> that's not it. Right. 